it's crazy. My house has been crazy for two weeks. But it's time now to turn chaos into peace and harmony. I won't subject you to any more of my singing. Yes, I'm back. Um, if you didn't get to watch my last video, which was a whole half hour long, um, or I didn't upload it because I'm actually only just getting around to unloading it up, bleh, uploading it now, and it's taking a long time, and I'm starting to worry that it won't even upload. Oh, actually, it's done something. Maybe it will upload. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, so just to recap, in case you didn't watch it and you don't want to sit there and watch half an hour of me nattering about my chaotic house, um, a quick update was that, um, my car, um, had a big problem and, um, dumped loads of, um, fuel on the fuel, not fuel, um, stuff on the road. And, um, also, and then, so I had to clear my garage to put the car in and my car, my garage was very full. It was very organized, but very full. Um, so I had to quickly clear all that out so we could push the car into the, into the garage and get it off the road. And, and, um, also at the same time, I was having serious issues with our property management company cause we rent and they are being just a bit not nice. Um, and we'd had complaints from the HOA, which they complain about every house, apparently. Um, so, in the last two weeks, I have been very busy. Excuse me. Changing hands with the phones. It's wobbling. I have been incredibly busy because I spent several days outside. After I cleared the garage and got the car in, I then spent several days outside completely going over my front garden with, like, with a fine-tooth comb. Uh, my neighbours have looked at it and they have said there is absolutely nothing else that could possibly be done to improve on the front. And if if the HOA complain now, then it must be a personal vendetta because <laughs> there's nothing wrong. And I, I've had several of my neighbours come and critique for me just to double check and they're all seriously impressed. Um, I mean, it wasn't really bad before but now it's absolutely perfect well it would be except it's been breezy and we now have a few leaves so I'm going to have to get out there and blow um but it rained last night which is a nice surprise because our, our plants are struggling we're only allowed to water once a week um through the winter for those that you don't know I live in Las Vegas which is a desert city um but we normally get water apparently it's only our second winter here um, but apparently, normally you get water through the winter. Now, last year we had more water than normal. It rained tons, and then this year it's hardly rained at all. I mean, we, I, I can actually only, this is only the second time it's rained in the last, I think, 10 months. I don't think it rained since last February. Um, I could be wrong. It might have rained in April. Um... I don't know when did lockdowns it's not I don't think it's rained since lockdown apart from it rained once um in November or December I think it was November um and I think that's the and that was only a little sh that was like a few drips it wasn't even I wouldn't even call it a shower um and that's it since lockdown so which was in March was it March March April anyway anyway so I have been really busy. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. So I've been really busy. Um, in my video, last video, I showed you um, my house and how absolutely, utterly chaotic it is. So I thought I'd show you a little bit that I have been working. It's been incredibly busy. Because um, like I said, I've been doing the outside. I've also been trying to reorganize the garage once in and fix my car. Um, and we started a new, um, thing with, uh, um, a new kids church, um, theme curriculum. So I've been busy trying to kind of get that together this week and, um, and what else? Oh, and then just kids, um, homeschooling and just kids and family life in general. Um, so but I have made progress. Yay. 
not completely finished, but I have made progress. So um, this is my down, this is like our activity room. And I showed last um, two weeks ago, it was chaos because the kids had just been left. That's um, my son's doing a puzzle down there. Um, we've still got some bits to sort out. And that is my incredibly messy desk. That is my next project. Um, I've got too many things going on with that. Um, too many projects. Um, but uh, I think there's some projects maybe on there that from before Christmas that can be put away now. So so that's there. My lounge. Here we go. Let's show you my lounge. There we go. That's looking much better. Um, box down there by the door. That's stuff I've got to take out in a few minutes. Um, and there we've got the um, that big stack there. That's Christmas decorations, which... Um, I have I'm gonna be finding a new home for um because I've kind of decided that I don't I'm trying to have less stuff in the garage so uh, it may go back in the garage but I'm thinking of putting it in some cupboards upstairs and yes so there's my lounge those boxes I've got ooh, where are those boxes there I've got to find a home for and there's some DVDs I've just noticed in a pile and then and you'll notice down here Look, see boxes? Yes, my eldest daughter is doing a project for science. She's doing genetics at the moment and she had to look through photographs to look at family traits throughout history. And, um, yeah. Does anybody else have kids that they do a project and then you end up with a job afterwards? Because, see that box? Well, <laughs> you can see, but that's full of photos and um, the paper on the top is actually... Um, my husband's and one of his relatives' um, um, apprenticeship certificate and stuff, which he kept. Well, that all fit really nicely in the box. Now the box is overflowing, and there's even a, a, a there's actually another album that doesn't even fit in there. So I need to empty it all out and repack it because it actually fit in there with space with room. So I don't quite know what we've done with the photos in there. So I'm going to have to sit down and do that. So, but anyway, but my house is livable. Do you like my fireplace, people? I made that. I wanted a fireplace for Christmas because I missed, I had a beautiful fireplace in England and I love to decorate my fireplace at Christmas. So I made one out of Ikea boxes and painted it. Um, and it's actually stayed there now. This is the third Christmas we've had it because we moved in sort of October before Christmas so we, this is our third Christmas but I'm thinking it's getting a bit tired and perhaps it's time to put the cardboard box fireplace away um, but at the moment it's actually hiding lots of cables because behind the TV they're starting to protrude but there's lots of cables from different game consoles and karaoke and, and all this sort of stuff so anyway so that's my lounge is is looking I've had a move around as well. I've moved the sofa back. We used to have the sofa forward, um, but it makes the lounge quite small because you've got this, where do you can see, there's like from the, the front door, you have this um, tiled area that sort of goes through, which is sort of like your hallway. And it's very good because obviously, because with um, Las Vegas, the, it's absolutely filthy and your shoes will get filthy. Even if you take your shoes off at the door, you still end up, the carpets get filthy. I've never seen anything like it. Um, LA was the same. In fact, I think LA was worse. Um, you know, if kids fall over out here, they just get covered in black. So, um, it's to protect the carpet is, is good, but, um, it's annoying because it makes the room so small. So I've moved it back and I'm going to be hammering into my children. They take their shoes off when they first walk in the door, not walking around to the shoe cupboard. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so that's that's out here. So I'm going to show you the carriage. Um, the garage is still a work in process. Pro progress? Process? Progress. But we're getting ready. So here's my garage. There we are. Right, that big pile there is um, stuff for to sell or to go to the tip there's sort of there's actually sort of two piles there and that is the washing machine that belongs to the house so we have to keep that and then i've got some bikes and there's actually um two tiny bikes and a medium-sized bike which we'll be selling um so they really should be with the other pile but it's easier to keep them there and then i've got here this is my organized this is like my pantry i have my kitchen roll and toilet tissue and 
um, paper plates and camping, there's a carpet cleaner, um, oh and what's that, we've got cleaning supplies over there, um, then in those boxes we've got that that box there is all baking pans because I don't actually have that many cupboards and then we've got extra food out here and so that's and then I've got appliances like my slow cooker um this is our hot plate we use this at Christmas but it's actually also slow cookers little three little slow cookers that's my big slow cooker I use that a lot um that's a deep fat fryer and my mixer and down at the bottom we have all our beans and flour and all that kind of stuff so that's already and then here this is the big change i really need to put the light on let me go and put the other light on da -da -da -da. Ah -ha -ha. so and around here this is we've not finished yet because i've still got some bits upstairs but that bit um well these bits down here is like our sports equipment i've not got it all out um, and then we've got hiking stuff behind these, oops, how did I get the camera in the right place? Behind those, there's all uh, different shoes for hiking. Wellies are down at the bottom. We've got our bag, backpacks hanging up, um, air defenders. And on this shelf go our packed lunch bags, but the kids are out. And then I've got some planting stuff up there and different gardening stuff and sort of here there's gardening stuff and then there's boxes with things like um there's my charity shop box um there's what have we got party supplies and camping and travel and hiking and all that kind of blurb so that's 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 good and then over the other side we've now got a designated tool area um which is good and then that's my husband's tool trolley too um though i have my toolbox and I'm going to get a padlock to cut padlock it so my husband can't steal my tools. So when he's away next, I'm going to sort through all the tools and fill my box up and put a padlock on it. Because <laughs> I don't like rummaging through his tools because it's he's got, oh, he's, oh, yeah. They get oily and stuff. Um, so anyway, so there we've got, like, that's a spare seat for the car up there. And that's, like, there's drive cleaning stuff and... Oh, that kind of jazz. So we've got that. Then that's all my kids' ministry stuff there. And then we've got the base. I was hoping to be able to empty this garage. Oh, I forgot to show you. Behind there, see those boxes? All that corner there is all boxes. Um, that's ready for when we move. Um, most of them are flat packed. There's some that are open. Um, that's for when we're moving. If we didn't have those, I'd actually have space to put the bikes over on that side and then we would have space to put the car in but as I still have this thing and then the bikes I might be able to do it with the bikes but it's this thing I don't know where to put it it's like I could fit it in this space but then we're going to struggle to get round and get the stuff in there so I don't know I don't know we'll see um maybe I can have another think and there's some stuff this is this is I've got to get rid of this as well I was given this I was so excited, I went to pick it up, and it was massive! You probably can't see from that angle, but this is like, massive! I wanted a wipey board for the kids, because I've got one, but it falls down, and I wanted one on a stand. And I was given that, I was so excited, and like I said, I picked it up, and I thought, oh my word, that's too big. So I'm going to find a home for that, with somebody that would appreciate it. Oh, ah, bang, let me turn the lights off. Da, da, da. So... Uh, my bedroom is still a mess, uh, but not as much as it was because stuff's coming down. There is some bits, but I've kind of decided I'm going to keep, like the, the boxes that still need sorting through that I said were in the garage that hadn't been sorted. I'm going to leave them up there and actually just put them away as we sorted. I thought if I can keep the rest of the house um, fairly organized and just rather than move them all back into the garage and then have heaps of stuff, I might as well just move them back one at a time as I sort through them, or they won't need to be put back because I can put the stuff away. So, anyway. So, we are um, progressing. There's a lot more to do. Um, and I'm sort of now thinking of some more decluttering now. 
Um, now I've got that sorted. This week though I've got um, quite a bit of kids church stuff to do because I'm trying, I want to try and get the next um, uh, the next sort of three months of kids church sort of planned, more or less planned and organised um, so that um, it's planned and organised <laughs> and I'm not scrabbling around last minute trying to get things done. So, so that's sort of my big project this week as well as kids. I've sort of neglected them a little bit with their school work so I need to um, do some, um, get a bit more time devoted to them. Um, and also like their evening story times and things like that. So there we are. I will let you know how we're doing as the weeks progress. Bye for now.